Dreyfus, do you think it likely that Micah DeAngelis would have returned to Santa Barbara? Anything is likely with that gentleman, sir. And if he had, do you suppose he'd try to contact you? That possibility is extremely remote, sir. Mm-hmm. One final question. This, uh, this man, Marcus Disgrazia, what is your impression of him? I wouldn't know, sir. To my knowledge, I've never laid eyes on him. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, aren't you, uh, aren't you going to caution me not to leave town, Inspector? Of course. Please don't. And I'd appreciate it if you'd pass that on to the others as well. Of course. Great. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, me? you've done more than enough. Thank you. Dreyfus, I'd like to speak to you in, in, in just a moment. Certainly, wait, madam. Please, thank Excuse you. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to go see if I can uh, check on the trace with the uh, station area and then swing by the hospital to see Suzanne and ask Marcus a couple of questions. Good. Call me if you need anything. Okay. Um, you tell Samantha I'll be back in time to read her story. I will. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay. To you, madam. Thank you. Dreyfus, do me a favor. Sit down for a minute and, and let's chat. Right here. Thanks. I need some information. I don't have a portrait or a picture to go by, so I, I need to know what Micah DeAngelis looked like physically. I, I, the, it, was he short, tall? Medium height. And what about his coloring? Was he dark or fair? Or what? Uh, dark hair, swarthy complexion, brown eyes. Eyes that seem to stare right through you as they're peering deeply into your soul. But uh, the one thing that was obvious about him was his voice. What about his voice? There was no mistaking his Australian accent. To those of us in the English-speaking part of the world, the Australians have, have a most peculiar manner of speech. He was, uh, he was Australian, born and bred.